Hey guys, it's me, Troy Dellinger, and I'm going to be uh, continuing in um, my uh, videos uh, about the Bible, and I'm going through Bible history and looking at some scriptures on the on the history of the Bible. Um, now, I started this channel on my original channel, Troy Dellinger, and then I continued it on my uh other channel, Christian Studio Productions, and now um, I'm going to possibly be trying to put this on a third channel, um, and uh, I actually don't even have a name for it yet, uh, so um, I can't tell you the name of the channel yet, but um, it will be going on to that channel, Lord willing, once I uh, make it, and uh, it will be continuing on the Bible history. This might be a little bit confusing. Uh, but if you want to go on my uh, playlist to see the video for orderly from the first video till now, then just uh, uh, go on my playlist there. It should be on my channel, Troy Dellinger. And you can find the playlist for uh, Bible, I believe it's called Bible History and Events. And, that's w and that is the playlist that this is going to be on. Now what I talked about last time, um, uh, the children of Israel, they just got delivered from... Um, the bondage of uh, Egypt, it was the Exodus story, and God uh, parted the Red Sea and led the people of Israel uh, out of Egypt, and that's where we left off, and, uh, and I was talking about how that's a picture of salvation, a picture of what Jesus Christ does for his people when he delivers us from sin. Um, so now I'm going to be continuing on in the book of Exodus of what happens, the events following uh, the Exodus story and coming out of Egypt. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get to the uh, Ten Commandments. Um, so um, th these were the laws that uh, God gave to the people and people of Israel after uh, He delivered them out of Egypt. And I'm going to be taking a look at that scripture. I'm going to go ahead and read them here in Exodus 20. And God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image, or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them, for I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that, lo of them that hate me. And showing mercy unto the thousands that love me and keep my commandments. Thou shalt not take the name of, thy, of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the sab Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy man manservant, nor thy Maid servant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is, and all that is in, all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. And all the people saw the thunderings and the lightnings and the noise of the trumpet and the mountains, mountain smoking, and when the people saw it, they removed and stood afar off, and they said unto Moses, Speak thou with us, and we will hear, but let not God speak with us, lest we die. And Moses said unto the people, Fear not, for God is come to prove you, and that ye may fear before your faces, that ye sin not. And the people stood afar off, and Moses drew near unto unto the thick darkness where God was. So this is a pretty fearful uh, and terrifying passage of scripture where here we see uh, the presence of the Lord on Mount Sinai with Sinai with 
uh, thunderings and lightnings and uh, and the mountains smoking and the people were so terrified at uh, the presence of the Lord that uh, they didn't even want to go anywhere near him uh, and they wanted Moses to do it instead because they were uh, terrified and uh, uh, so God is holy and God's uh, presence is absolutely uh, just fearful and terrifying and these were uh, when God gave uh, the Ten Commandments and uh, God is serious about these laws and uh, uh, we know that uh, at least nine of the Ten Commandments are reinstated in the New Testament uh, so all of these uh, law most of these laws in fact I would even go as far to say as all of these laws uh, are still applicable for today and I'll get to you why I explain all of them are here in a minute um, I'll go further into that in a bit um, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, review the Ten Commandments um, because the commandments are like a mirror they tell us uh, what our standing is with God and uh, and so my big question to you is have you broken the Ten Commandments uh, so I'm going to go ahead and go through the Ten Commandments the first one is don't have any other gods besides the one true God. Uh, so that's a commandment that forbids idolatry. Uh, that's uh, worshiping false gods, uh, people in different religions that don't uh, that are not Christians that follow different gods. That's not uh, the only true God, the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ said He's the only way to heaven. Uh, so if you're an idolater, uh, you're not going to make it to the, uh, uh, into the kingdom of heaven. You know the Bible says that idolaters won't inherit the kingdom of God, and they'll go to the lake of fire in Revelation 21. And idolatry is not just worship of false gods, that's a part of it, uh, but it's also um, putting anything or anyone before God. Uh, if there's something that's more important to you than God or you're being devoted to something more than God, then that's uh, also idolatry. Uh, no graven images. That is, okay, so we got, uh, that's basically something like statues. We see uh, in pagan religions, statues of their gods and, uh, and their man-made uh, gods. And uh, that's forbidden according to scripture. We see paintings of Jesus. Uh, Jesus is portrayed by uh, Catholic paintings as a long man and a, and a beard. But you know, the Bible says don't make any graven images of God. So that's against the Ten Commandments. Uh, so that's a sin. Uh, so if you're, if you're participating in that, you're uh, making graven images and you're breaking one of the Ten Commandments. And graven images is also uh, basically imaginations of God in your mind that are not true. You're making up your own God for your own comfort. So if you're if you're doing that, uh, then you're breaking uh, one of the Ten Commandments. Um, now the the third commandment uh, is don't take the Lord's name in vain. Uh, that's basically when people uh, blaspheme God or they uh, maybe they'll cuss and they'll use God's name as a cuss word, uh, like G D or uh, J C, and they don't use and they, and they use as God God's name to express disgust. And God said He won't hold him guiltless. Uh, who takes his name in vain and that's also uh, when you uh, basically drag God's name through the mud maybe you're uh, a minister or a pastor in a church and you uh, have fallen what they say fallen from grace and you've uh, lived a very wicked life and you've represented Christianity poorly and people look at you and they uh, and you're taking the Lord's name in vain that's another way you can uh, take the Lord's name in vain which is breaking one of the Ten Commandments uh, let's go to the fourth commandment. Keep the Sabbath. Um, now, uh, this, when I said nine of the Ten Commandments I, that were reinstated, uh, this does not include, include the Sabbath because uh, we know that uh, in the New Testament, we don't have to keep a Saturday Sabbath anymore. See, in the, in the Old Testament, uh, there, was, um, there was a Saturday Sabbath that the Jews kept. And... Uh, but we know now that under the New Covenant, the Bible says that uh, it doesn't matter what day we worship or what uh, day um, we rest. Uh, there's no more Saturday uh, Sabbath keeping anymore in the New Testament. Um, but, uh, but I did. But the reason why I said earlier that even all of the commandments are still uh, important because there is still a Sabbath, but it's just not the Saturday anymore. So this, this commandment is still binding uh, to New Testament believers, but in a different way than it was before in the Old Testament. Uh, so now with the Sabbath, uh, now it's not Saturday anymore. Christ is our Sabbath. Jesus said that he gives us rest. So 
uh, if, so, so now the way we keep our Sabbath is in Christ, all right? And I also think that it's good to take at least one day off uh, of work a week. Now, it, I'm not saying it has to be Saturday, um, but I'm, I think that it is good to have one day of work off a, a week. Because if you don't take a day off from work, you're going to be exhausted and you're going to wear yourself out. And that's not good for your body, which is your temple. So, um, so are you breaking this commandment? Are you uh, working every single day and never taking time off work? Is Jesus Christ your Sabbath? Are you in Christ? That, that's my big question. If you're not, you're breaking the Ten Commandment and you're in sin. Um, now, I'm not saying you got to keep it on Saturday anymore, but if you aren't, resting in Christ then you are in sin and you're still and you're breaking the Sabbath um, now let's look at the other commandment honor your parents okay so the Bible says we need to listen to what our mom and dad tells us to do because our mom and our dad they put us on this earth and uh, that God created us but God created us through our parents and uh, we need to have respect to our parents because they're our authorities so are you listening to what your parents say are you a problem child are you being rebellious uh, are you being, are you disrespecting your parents? Because if you are, you're, you're breaking one of the Ten Commandments. Um, we just got done with Mother's Day not too long ago, and we got Father's Day coming up. Uh, and you know, when you, you, you just, like I'm saying, you just got to re have respect for your mom and dad. And if you're, if you don't do what they say, you're breaking one of the Ten Commandments, and you're sinning. Um, now let's go to the other uh, commandment: uh, do not kill. So, okay, this is a, we all know that we shouldn't kill. Um, but there are murderers out there that are uh, doing wicked stuff. And, you know, the Bible says not to kill. So if you're a murderer and, and you're out uh, killing people, uh, this includes things like abortion, uh, then you're a murderer and you're, and you're breaking one of the Ten Commandments. Um, so we know that murderers are wicked and they're going to go to hell. This includes people that uh, kills babies. Um, and uh, Jesus, there's also scriptures in, in the Bible that says, you know, if you're angry with your brother without a cause, without a cause, then you're you're basically in the sight of God guilty as murder. Uh, if you have hatred in your heart towards your brother, the Bible says you're a murderer and you don't have eternal life. So there's uh, other things too besides just killing people. So if you're breaking that commandment, you're in sin. And then the other commandment is the seventh commandment: uh, do not commit adultery. Okay, so that's cheating on your spouse. All right. Um, so, you know, if you're having an affair with your spouse and you're seeing other people and uh, having sexual relations with other people that you're not married to, then that's a sin. Uh, and it's breaking one of the Ten Commandments. And what else did Jesus say that, the, that adultery is? So let's go further than just cheating. All right. Uh, Jesus said, whoever looks at a woman with lust commits adultery. So if you're lusting, uh, you're committing adultery and you're breaking the Ten Commandments. Um, if uh, you're divorced, remarried, you're also breaking one of the Ten Commandments. Jesus said, "Whoever uh, puts away his wife and marries another commits adultery." So that's so that's three ways you can commit adultery. Um, the Bible also says, "Don't steal." So okay, that's taking something that doesn't belong to you. If you're a thief or a bank robber and you're going around uh, stealing things um, and taking things that don't belong to you, then you're guilty of theft, and that's a violation of uh, the Ten Commandments. Uh, the, and the Ninth Commandment is, Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. So, you know, if you're lying, ab that, that's basically lying. Uh, specifically lying about people. If you're going around lying about people and uh, spreading false information about people, sp spreading slander and lies, you're sinning and you're breaking one of the Ten Commandments. Um, and the Tenth Commandment, the final one is, Thou shalt not covet. Um, so, you know, coveting, that's, you know, uh, desiring something that you don't have. You, you desire things that other people have. That, that's why the Bible says, I shall not cover thy neighbor's wife. Um, so, you know, th there's covetousness, obviously things like greed, lusting, you know, for wanting more. Uh, that's breaking the Ten Commandments. So the big question is, are you breaking the Ten Commandments? Um, we know that these laws were written uh, by God himself on the tables of stone. So they're very important. Uh, if you're breaking the Ten Commandments, uh, you're going to hell. Even if you break one of them, if I keep all of them, uh, it's still not going to get you into heaven. You know, the Bible says that whoever 
uh, keeps the law and offends at one point, he's guilty of breaking the whole law. So even if you kept all these commandments but only broke one of them, uh, you would still uh, be guilty and, and, and you're on your way to hell. So that's the way you can find out if you're a Christian is if you keep the commandments. And uh, if you don't keep these commandments and you're not saved. Um, because they're very important and uh, they're they're critical and essential. Um, but if you have broken the commandments, uh, that's why Jesus Christ came. Uh, the, uh, Jesus Christ, God in the flesh, the Son of God, came down uh, in the flesh and he died on the cross for our sins and rose from the dead on the third day. He did this to give us forgiveness. Uh, for the sins we committed. So if you've broken the commandments, uh, you might be on your way to hell, but you can be forgiven and you can have forgiveness because uh, Jesus Christ made a way for you to have eternal life. Now that you've broken these commandments, you've got to repent of your sins and put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and then you can be saved. So that's all I got. And uh, thank you for watching.